We've got a really interesting situation coming up where the Tesla is trying to get to the right lane because it has to merge onto the highway. You can see on the screen it's highlighting the right lane, but the other aggressive Russian drivers don't let it through. And here comes the fork and the Tesla just barely squeezes in between those Russian drivers as it is merging onto the highway. I just paid the Russian hacker 5,000 rubles to enable a Tesla FSD full self-driving here in Kazan, Russia. Let's see how it does. On a more serious note, today you're gonna see something really crazy. This guy Ruda on YouTube allegedly paid a Russian hacker 5,000 rubles or maybe dollars, it's all speculation, to enable Tesla full self-driving in Russia. And here you can already see him driving his Tesla. Well, technically the car is driving him. Indicated by the confidently blue tentacle on the screen showing the car's intentions. This is clearly Tesla full self-driving in action and while you can see him spontaneously sometimes touching the steering wheel which he has modded to be a yoke in his Tesla Model 3 with AMD Ryzen processor he is not driving at all this is a full drive without any interventions on the I guess latest Tesla full self-driving, well, this is at least version 12, because as you will see later in the video, it combines the city stack and the highway stack. But why is this so significant? Well, a lot of people say that because Tesla FSD was mostly trained in California, it will have troubles adapting to new environments and more challenging environments like Europe because it's much more difficult to drive through there everything is different the road laws are different the traffic signs are completely different from state to state and so far no one has been actually able to prove this being a false prediction until now this guy just happened to get it in Russia this is far from official full self-driving. It is the exact official software, but it is not supposed to work in Russia. But here you can see it driving, you can see it avoiding this guy on a bicycle, following traffic signs that are not even in our letters. They're in Russian Cyrillic, so I can't read those, you probably can't read those, but guess what? Tesla FSD can read those signs and not only read them, but drive according to them. And that is completely insane to me. How does this whole thing work? How can Tesla full self-driving be so well adapted to this new environment? It has never seen these roads before, yet it's driving through them like it's nothing, like it's a piece of cake. That is because, and exactly because, this system is designed from the ground up to be able to drive anywhere in the world. Tesla's FSD doesn't rely on pre-mapped data. It's an adaptive neural network that processes real-time visual data to navigate. This means that even without knowing a single inch of Kazan here, beforehand, the car can recognize objects, lanes and signs to create a live 3D model and understand its environment. And as it drives, it learns. Each movement refines its decision-making process, making the system more robust over time. It uses eight cameras all around the car to just see the environment, model a 3D version of it in its brain and then just drive through it. As the car continues to creep towards the very Russian stop sign, you can see on the screen that the visuals are perfectly modeling the world around the car. This is also pretty heavy traffic. You can see that uh, the car is driving, avoiding other drivers, it is changing lanes completely autonomously, it is deciding on whether to go or not to go, also based on the traffic lights and all the signs and all of the context it's sensing all around. So what does this mean? Well, we've been waiting for footage like this for quite some time. The only proof that FSD is truly intelligent so far has been from American roads, American cities, you know, these grid-like, very easy places to drive. 
where the hardest challenge is possibly the other drivers around. But uh, they got nothing on the Russians in this video, that's for sure. You can see the car is uh, stopped at the stop sign, it's just uh, letting the pedestrians go through the crosswalk, now it's navigating around stopped cars. All is super smooth and flawless. Be sure to play this video multiple times just to get the impression of how smooth this drive is. Speed control is smooth, turning is smooth. Just incredible performance from the Tesla. Now you pay close attention and tell me in the comments if this isn't incredible. We've got a really interesting situation coming up where the Tesla is trying to get to the right lane because it has to merge onto the highway. You can see on the screen it's highlighting the right lane but the other aggressive Russian drivers don't let it through. And here comes the fork and the Tesla just barely squeezes in between those Russian drivers as it is merging onto the highway. This was peak full self-driving performance, like I'm speechless right now. And the transition from city driving to highway makes me think that this must be one of the newer versions of FSD, although as you could have seen, it made a mistake by merging too late and crossing the full line. Now it crosses the full line again, so two technically illegal maneuvers before it speeds right up to overtake this bus and then comes the highway exit, which is once again going to demonstrate one of the biggest differences between driving in the US and elsewhere, and that is the pure width of the roads. You can see this is not a very wide road, but wait a second, it's gonna get even crazier, because before this demonstration ends, we are going to see an even narrower road. We've transitioned to the city streets again and now comes this extremely narrow road. You can see some uh, bicyclists and then this mysterious video fades to black. So what are the main takeaways? I've been hearing for many months now that well, the, the Tesla FSD videos you see on YouTube, uh, these are just uh, staged or easy for the car to handle. I don't think this is. I don't think this is either staged or easy and the biggest challenge here like I said is that the car is driving through a completely new environment with completely different set of rules be it road rules signs the completely different driver behavior in Russia and it's handling everything so smoothly and safely and without any mistakes basically if you can spot any, be sure to leave them in the comments below. In my opinion, this can only mean one thing. Europe is ready for full self-driving and so are we on the Robot RL channel. As soon as regulators approve it, this software will be shockingly capable and overnight millions of Tesla cars will be able to drive autonomously, including our own. And as long as you stay subscribed to our channel, you too will be able to witness this monumental paradigm shift. The choice is yours. If you enjoyed my commentary, feel free to like the video and now just for comparison, check out the horrible state of Tesla Autopilot in Europe in our latest video. The difference between FSD and that is just astonishing and us trying to use the ancient autopilot like FSD is just insane. I think the video speaks for itself, so just click or tap it and continue watching.